why exactly should we not use our family name as the foundation name along with other words like faith foundation you can use it it's it's not that big of a deal and if you get pushed back and you want to use it that's not a problem it's just sometimes the irs will step in and say no that's just a blah 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 but it doesn't matter what it is it's 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 whatever you want it to be so um if you want to add your name plus faith foundation to a foundation we would do that for you in a heartbeat personally i just think it's maybe another layer of protection by not having it um not saying that they would ever be able to have jurisdiction over it because they don't but it would just be helpful um like i've never seen prosecution with the foundation in it ssm in it you may see legal actions which are different than prosecution which are different than governments knowing that they don't have jurisdiction but a lot of time attorneys don't know and you got to rebut the presumption of jurisdiction and fight back and that's really what our next several years because we've mastered this coming out now we are going to master um taking a stand and sometimes dave it's going to be uncomfortable um like, what do they do? I mean, think of, and I always say, I use this as an example, you know, when people are told to get on that train heading to Auschwitz, 5,000 people, five guys with guns. That's a voluntary effort, meaning they volunteered to get on those trains. It wasn't by force. Force is five against one. You understand what I'm saying? We fight unrighteousness to the end. You, you stand for God to the end. You stand for innocence to the end. We're giving you a way easier pass than people that are sucked into that jurisdiction. We're giving you way more options than those people that are aligning themselves to those jurisdictions. They don't have jurisdiction over you. And so they're trying to figure out how to get you to volunteer it. And that's really what that example of Auschwitz was. Those people volunteered. Totally different world today. I get it. We're going to be amazed by some interesting events and new movies coming out with alien invasions and Tom Cruise as a lead actor and fighting these aliens. And, you know, it's a different world. I don't think, Dave, we're going to be worrying too much about jurisdictional position. But whoever comes up after the fact is going to look a lot like the antichrist and he's going to serve people like a Christ. And so those are the things we are warning. And those are the things that if we keep anything private, unregistered, out of pocket, under God, they have to fight like crazy to try to get it. And they have to get you to volunteer it. You can, they just can't take it. They're, big difference of somebody that has a registered corporation as owning something and into the county recorder big difference big difference of a registered trust big big difference public versus private is everything that's why in public law you're referred to as a private citizen so i hope that helps